Alexa, give me a local news update. Philip, here's your news. It was a Merry Christmas for Taylor Swift. She spent part of it with Santa, watching her boyfriend, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, play the Las Vegas Raiders, and her re-recording of her 1989 album is back at number one on the Billboard 200 album chart. It's fourth non-consecutive week atop the list. That ties Swift with Elvis as the solo artist with the most weeks at number one on the album chart, 67. The most weeks overall, though, still the Beatles with 132, a number that'll be tough for Swift to equal. Jason Abrams and ABC News, Hollywood. Samsung's foldables finally got some competition, and Apple made the iPhone a little more interoperable this year. 2023 was the year of embracing open standards. And Gadget's Sherilyn Lowe says this year's iPhone 15 added a more common USB-C charging port, and Apple announced it will soon adopt a more common texting standard called RCS. Whether or not it's something Apple wanted to do on its own, uh, or for its own motivations, or whether just, you know, tremendous public pressure in the case of RCS or regulatory uh, pressure. In the Android space, Google, OnePlus, and Motorola all launched foldable smartphones aimed squarely at Samsung, which has dominated that part of the market. Samsung has had to really face up to the fact that competition is coming for it, and it cannot just give us yet another generative, iterative upgrade in the Galaxy Z Fold series. I'm Mike Dubusky, ABC News. <laughs> Twitter became X in 2023, but that wasn't the only social media platform to get a lot of attention this year. Zoe Schiffer of Platformer News says 2023 was the year of decentralization in social media. I think we just saw the social web splintering in a way we really haven't seen in recent memory. She says that was prompted by the rollback of content moderation at X, which prompted a drop off in advertising and users. X, formerly known as Twitter, getting more and more filled with hate. Alexa, stop the news. Alexa, give me a sports update. Here's your sports update. In basketball, <coughs> Celtics and Pistons are facing off tomorrow evening at 7.30 p.m. And in ice hockey, Buffalo Sabres will play Boston Bruins this evening at 7.30 p.m. Alexa, when do the Patriots play? The New England Patriots will play the Buffalo Bills on the road on Sunday, December 31st at 1 p.m. Alexa, have a good night. Have a good night. Sleep well. <laughs>